Okay, yeah, I think we can all agree that this thing has got to go. You know who this is? This is Caleb Pike. Only the most important inventor, probably of our generation, I think we can all agree, AKA my boyfriend. So what we're gonna do is follow his instructional on how to set up an overhead camera shot. Now the unit that I've purchased, it's not an overhead camera setup. This setup is actually made for monitors to mount your monitor to your desk. If you want to elevate it a little to get to your eye level, which is the best thing for your posture, by the way. So let's go ahead, do another time lapse and see if I can uh, pull off the Wally build, hopefully. Now, in order for me to use this as an overhead camera, what I need to do is dangle a uh, ball head off this bracket arm. So what I need to do is get it like that so that I can mount my camera onto this. But this hole is not big enough to accommodate this 3 8 screw. So I'm gonna have to make this hole just a little bigger. I don't know how that's gonna work out. Gotta be honest. And now I'm just going to affix that ball head to the 3 8 screw through the arm. Now I'm just tightening up that 3 8 screw to the ball head just to make sure that it's nice and secure. I'm gonna screw the bottom plate onto the camera. And now I'm putting the camera onto the ball head and it is the moment of truth. Now I'm just positioning the camera right over the area where my iPad is going to sit on my desk. Let me go ahead and blow out the sensor. When's the last time you've done that, guys? I'm gonna attach the lens here. For those of you that are cable management freaks, this Wally system comes with a few wire clamps as well. It's gonna help just simplify the look of the unit by keeping all of your wires together and organized. And believe it or not, I do have quite a few wires running into this overhead camera system, like my dummy battery. Guys, guys, listen. I'm gonna give you the best advice that no one ever gave to me. You heard it here first or maybe not, but I just, for those of you who don't know, this is a dummy battery. It plugs into your camera and goes into the wall socket. You never have to worry about your batteries running out ever again, ever again. If you're making videos in studio and you don't have a dummy battery, you don't know what you're missing out on. I, I didn't even know that these things existed until I found one on Amazon. I'm like, what, what's that? that I need that. Especially if you're a live streamer, you really, really have to have a dummy battery. All right, let's go ahead and get the dummy battery in the camera. Slides right in. The wire protrudes out the side through this little hole here. You close it and now you're golden. So let's go ahead and run the wires. In case you are unfamiliar with a friction arm, it will be my pleasure to acquaint you because I love this little thing. This is one of my most favorite studio tools. It enables you to mount microphones anywhere you want to put them. Uh, hair lights, if you need it in a precarious position, this friction arm is greatly going to help you out. Now the, the gist of the friction arm is it's loose. You could twist in all kinds of crazy ways. You put it where you want it to be. You clamp it down, boom. You put it in whatever position you want the microphone to be. Let's see, like way out here. And you just turn this little bolt and that is gonna lock that into place. And there you go. That's a friction arm. And that will stay like that nice and tight until you loosen the bolt and move it yourself. You don't have to worry about it falling down. I mean, th these are pretty strong. And believe it or not, these are pretty cheap on Amazon. Of course, they have ones that are super expensive. 
because they're like Manfrotto or some crazy name brand. And it only costs, I'm like 18 bucks, I think. So well worth it. I have like five of these all throughout the studio. One's holding my hair light right now. Here it is right here, holding on my hair light. I mean, how great is that, right? I know. You wanna help me? Sound check. You sound checking again? You're such a pretty little lady. I love you, baby. Your mommy's girl? She's my girl. I, I just don't know how I feel about the scissor arm on this Wally setup. Of course, I could always put the scissor arm, attach it directly to my desk, but I just like the look of the friction arm so much better. As long as you have a cardioid microphone, it, you don't have to be eating the microphone for it to pick up your voice properly. So I think I am going to stick with the friction arm. So let's go ahead and take this whole thing apart now. Great. <laughs> Look no further. If you need an overhead camera shot, this is the way to go. When I was initially setting up my overhead camera shot, I watched a lot of YouTube videos. I watched some guy build like this $300 contraption for an overhead camera shot like this. Uh, first of all, I'd never be able to build that thing. And number two, I don't wanna spend $300 just to dangle my camera over my iPad. No, thank you. This thing is a must. I think everything that I used cost about $65. So the Wally system comes with this pole, all the wire clips and one articulating arm. You can also buy additional articulating arms if you think you might need them. But I think one is good for me right now. I might get an additional one. We'll have to wait and see. But you don't have to just use this as an overhead camera shot. I can easily slide that arm down, flip the camera up, and whenever I live stream, there I go. I don't have to grab a different way to set up my camera so that I can use it for live streaming, it's all gonna be right here. I'm absolutely in love with this. So if you guys are looking for overhead camera shot or some way to set up your live stream camera, uh, this is it. Now this Wally system, it's really a monitor stand. So it comes with a bunch of different ways to mount it. You don't just have to mount it on the edge of your desk like that. You can drill a few holes in your desk and use a couple different plates to get this set up wherever you'd like it to be. But I think on the edge is gonna be really good for me. This place looks like a bomb hit it. So let me go ahead, clean up and declutter and see what the finished product is gonna look like. This thing was my overhead camera setup. Just absolutely ridiculous. But it's awesome that I, I went from this thing to this thing. This is going to be a wrap for me. Thank you so much for coming along on my journey of building the overhead camera shot rig. And until next time, wear your sunblock and be your brother's keeper.